What's going on guys? My name is Yellow S2K and welcome to some MX vs ATV All Out. We are checking out the next track that has been added to the AMA Pro Motocross Championship DLC. As you can see, this is Bud's Creek and this is actually an exclusive look. I got it a little bit later than planned, but uh, you should only see it here on this channel for a handful of hours. And I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, it's great to be able to hop on these tracks and get a real first look and share it with you guys as soon as possible really a week ahead of the actual race in real life here on Bud's Creek. So it's great to rip around here before uh, the race really happens. And I did a three lap race just to get an idea of what this track was like. And the one thing I can tell you is it is very, very rough. I think this is the roughest track so we can get a triple in there. Yes. Uh, I don't know the track too well yet. I mean, I know Bud's Creek. I know the layout. I know all of that. But uh, the one thing I can say is really a positive to these tracks is they are challenging and this one in my opinion seems to be the most challenging the most rough and uh, i think that's a good thing again it's not going to be easy to just pick up and rip and put in like lightning fast lap times but i can tell you that uh it's going to have a lot of replayability and it's going to be really rewarding i guess when you get in those good laps and you figure out the best ruts the best lines that kind of thing right now I'm really feeling that out and trying to find those lines, but man, it is so, so cool to have these tracks in this game. Um, I think, you know, I'm not paid, I'm not told to say anything. I could say this is trash if it's trash. Um, I'm just really coming from the heart here. These tracks should be celebrated and really, we really, really need to support this type of thing coming out for motocross games. The guys over there, um, at MX Race ATV, they obviously put in a lot of work uh, to, to make these tracks good, but also just to get these tracks in the game at all. I'm sure that wasn't the easiest thing at all, and it's just really, really cool. And again, I think this is something we've all always wanted in our motocross games is to have the real AMA Pro Motocross. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can hop back on track. Preload. Aww. <laughs> But we always wanted the AMA tracks here in the game, right? Or in any motocross game. And for those guys to do that really tells a lot about them. I genuinely think that these guys are realizing how important it is to listen to the community. And it's pretty clear they're doing that. Now, is it going to make everybody happy? No, of course not. Not everybody is into the way the physics are in the game. Uh, same with every single motocross game. Let's be real. You can't make everybody happy, especially all of us that are just hardcore into this. Um, you got to make it for your average player and for um, the guys that are really hardcore into it, right? And that cannot be easy. And for them to add, I mean, think of the things that people bitch about all the time with motocross games. It's typically whips, 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 two strokes. Okay, well, we have that in this game. Are they, are they perfect? No, of course. Is it easy to make things like that perfect? No, especially if you're trying to make it where your average player can pick it up and have a great time too. And that's really important. It's important for the sport. It's important for these games to keep coming out. They can't make something that you know, the general public hates and the sim guys or whatever everybody's into. It's like, that's that's stupid. That That's how you kill a game. So again, I think it's really important to support what they're doing here. Um, even if All Out isn't maybe like your game of choice, uh, I think it's really a big deal that these guys are putting in the effort and making these uh, AMA Pro Motocross Championship DLC, making these uh, making these tracks available in the game. And not only that, but they're doing a really great job with them. They're not shitty editions of this game. Uh, or sorry, shitty editions of these tracks. They're proper. I mean, you can tell. Like, just the thing that gets me with these, there's two things. I think the atmosphere is the biggest one. You know, all the people, like, you really feel like you're actually at a national. They could have easily just made it the layout, some fences, some banners, and it's done. But you rip around here. Even right now, I'm hearing, you can hear those air horns. <laughs> um, that big American flag. You know, there's there's just a huge, real atmosphere out there. And it's just awesome to have. Um, it just feels like an actual national. But um, the, the second thing that really, really I'm shocked by is just the dirt um that sounds pretty lame but the actual texture of the dirt the look the light the dark the different uh oh no the different way the dirt looks at different depths things like that just the bumps the ruts it's just dude this is a proper motocross track like who would have guessed right 
Uh, I think they've really stepped it up in these tracks. Not only are great to have, but they're also a game changer as far as this game goes. Um, I highly, highly recommend if you wrote off All Out, I recommend you come back. <laughs> come back, have some fun with this DLC. It's definitely worth the time, worth the money. And uh, it's just it's just sick, man. Rough tracks. I think the combination of rough tracks with like a more arcadey physics game, but then add in crazy whips and scrubs. And you just have a, a combination that really ends up being... Uh, almost like a playground of uh, for motocross, if that makes any sense. Um, it's just you really have a lot of play and how you want to ride, what you want to do. You can kind of do what I'm doing and just kind of smash through stuff and rip around. Or you can decide to slow up, try to catch the ruts nice and smooth, kind of like that. Just slow up, get your line, and be really methodical with it. Um, or you can ride around like an asshole and be throwing upside down whips everywhere. Um, you can you can kind of do whatever you want in this game, and I think that's a, a really good thing. And I think that's, you know, let's be real. Everybody likes Reflex. Reflex everybody says, I want Reflex too, all that kind of stuff. And I think this game does a lot of the things that made Reflex good. Um, I've actually recently compared this game to Reflex, and let's, it's, it's not Reflex 2. But it definitely is more in that direction than I ever imagined. Again, with kind of the free whips, with the rough tracks. Now, this isn't modded tracks, but it almost feels like those good modded tracks that came out uh, for Reflex. And but there were some really, really good ones. And they were rough, they were rutted. It took a game that, okay, the, the game was good anyways, but then you add in tracks that totally change the way you ride the game. And that's why Reflex, everybody loved it. The modded tracks were just amazing, right? And that's exactly what they've done here. It's just from the factory, right? It's uh, it's legit, and uh, if you compared this to the tracks that came out for Reflex, you'd have some pretty big similarities, and these are just really, really polished. Uh, I'm honestly shocked at how polished they are, and really, I did not think they were going to be this good. Um, so again, I think they're listening to the community, what does everyone want, and they're trying to do that. Um, and again, keep in mind, they have to do that with making this still a great thing to play for people that maybe don't even follow motocross but they want to ride it play a dirt bike game right um so again i think i think there's just a lot right here um there's definitely things that i would like to see different but i think that's just that's just personal preference man i mean that's i would hope everyone out there goes man i would really love if they did this that's what it's all about everybody is interested in different things and everybody wants a game to be that perfect way for them um, but man, I, I can't help but think that this is just a great mixture. As far as the more arcadey, rip around, have some fun games go, this is doing a lot of things right. But anyway, that's that's kind of my spiel there, but it's just really cool. It's something I like to think about and enjoy, and these tracks really bring that out. Um, and again, I think it just transforms the game and makes it where it's like, dude, I, I really want to play all out. Like... <laughs> It's been fun in multiplayer lobbies, ripping around, and I think this track is going to be a great one because, again, it's rough. You can see. I know I'm not putting any crazy lap times or impressing anybody too much here. Uh, I I'm getting my feet wet with All Out once again, but it is uh, it is pretty nuts, and it's challenging. It it's not just a piece of cake. Like that corner there, that off camber, is, is really tough to get into that rut, and I'm sure I'm going to get it figured out. Just with a little bit more time, I'll get it figured out to be able to just rip into that thing and hit it at the right angle. Look how rough this is. That's not just fake roughness, you know what I mean? With games where it's just a whole bunch of ground texture and it looks really cool, but it doesn't actually affect the riding. And, and sometimes you just have to do that. Again, there's a lot of decisions to be made. But I'm pumped that in this game, all of this isn't just visual. It's all just deep, rough, massive bumps. Um, on some of the other tracks, like coming down from Mount Martin ooh, at Millville, I would go over the bars a lot because I was charging it, leaning back, and I'd get kicked over the bars because I was hitting some huge, huge bumps. I changed up my line, and boom, I figured out a better way to get through there, and that's just like real motocross. So there's just it's just sick that they're this rough, I guess. Uh, I think you guys that have been around the channel for a long time know how much I really liked those rough, uh, custom tracks and reflex once there was a rough one i was i was all in right uh so this just really strikes a chord with me 
even though it's it's not easy. <laughs> And, and I am by no means that great at this game. But, man, it is fun just ripping around, having some fun. And uh, I can't think of a better setup right now with everything that we have to add these types of tracks into a game. It's just uh, it's the perfect playground for this type of stuff. Ooh! I got a little hop, and uh, I didn't have a chance to scrub, so I just full blast off the hill. Let's go all the way around the outside here. Ooh, it's hard. All the way around the inside, real tight. Again, you can see when I uh, stop being an idiot and I actually get through a line really cleanly. You can see, I guess, the skill that it takes. Again, I'm not doing that too often, but when you do slow up a little bit, like right there, just screwed it up. But if you slow up a little bit and dive into that rut just right, maybe hit the clutch in the middle of the corner, it's, it's difficult, man, and, and it makes it really rewarding. When you hit a rut just perfect, it's really, really cool. Oh, yes, we got the off camber. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Where you get through there cleanly, and you can't believe you got through there that fast, and then you start getting better and better at that. And yeah, man, I, I think you're going to see me playing more all out than I ever would have guessed. Oh, no, I can't bring it back. <laughs> kind of fun just playing around Oof. that's actually a pretty big jump you got to preload that thing massively especially if you don't hit uh hit it with enough speed let's scrub this oh no yes 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 oh we almost got back on track but anyway guys hopefully you enjoy this hopefully you enjoy seeing these tracks and again this is an exclusive look so thanks to the guys um over there to her really hooking it up and getting me this early and hopefully we can get another one exclusive um because i ended up getting this one a little bit later with some issues but i'll put the link and everything um and more importantly the information for when this comes out to you guys when you can pick it up or when you can uh, see it being added to the dlc that you purchased um the information will be in the description thank you for watching i really really appreciate it and until next time i will talk to you later Peace out.